Welcome to Endeavor TV with the beautiful HEC One M8 smartphone, which you can see has now um, a new software installed. It's called Lollipop. It's the latest Android by Google 5.0, and it's one of the first devices, which is not an Nexus device, to get this feature. And of course, HEC's um, own operating system sense is still also on here so it doesn't look much different but for example here by swiping up the home button you will see here the new google now animation but there's also a lot of other things new like for example when you turn on the device you can see here we have for example notifications now on the lock screen that go beautifully away when you just swipe here the screen up i'm just doing it this slow so you guys can see the beautiful animation but you can also do it quickly and i don't want to use google now right now what i forgot is to change the language but let me just tell you a little bit more about um, here what has changed and that you need 800 megabytes to download this um, in the next few weeks. It should be out also in your country here in Germany. It was out a week ago and I've been using it a little bit. So let me put it back to English and then we can use it quite nicely so you guys can also understand what's happening here. So you guys can see, for example, here is a picture it wants me to share. So this, this is one of the new notifications that I could swipe left or right to move away. I would just swipe it right and otherwise you can see again here the four notifications that you were able to see before and here on the top you can also uh, hit, hit the X button or the settings button right away which is quite nice or you can just swipe this down even further and you can see here up there the um, X button moving to an edit button so you guys can edit also your quick um, button settings here so if you would press that this has not changed but of course animation before has changed and you can add up to 12 things i could even say i want here a uh, 10th one i say done and then there's less space for my notifications and one more space here for my um extra saver feature so also the battery life should be better with lollipop but we are actually not sure because once we go into the settings and go all the way here down to the power nothing has changed here we can still see how much battery we have left um it's uh, on only for a few minutes now or has been on only for a few minutes but you can see nothing has changed here but probably in the background lollipop just needs less power also when you hit here the button you can see this nice little animation that's also i think new in lollipop and interestingly um HTC didn't use the new buttons that are also quite nicely looking under Lollipop. They still have the old design. So if you hit that one, you can see that we have the last apps that I was using now here in this card uh, design. So I could, for example, here close something up um, or just leave all my apps open. But you can also go back to the grid view. And actually, of course, the search is also new. Um, if you go here into settings, you can also say card view grid view and then you have here your grid view where you can also nicely look at all the apps that are open and it's quite a few so i could for example close that one close that one and so on and so on but then your search is gone here on the top so you can do a google search let me go here back to the settings turn back to card view because it's a little bit more nice to look at then you have also in the settings the uh, screen pinning view um, um, possibility so you can um, pin your um, yeah, you can actually just read it right there so you can hit an icon or place an icon on your home screen um, otherwise the feature on the top is running apps so you can just go here into the uh, system menu which you can also find easily when you just browse through the settings but of course this is a little bit faster accessible so you can see right away how much ram um, different apps are using and so on so let me go back here and then yeah actually this is basically it what I want to also show you is here in the settings, there is also a new lollipop feature built in now that's um, here under uh, security somewhere. If I'm not blind, am I blind? Maybe I'm blind right there. So it's called smart lock. So you have to set a screen lock and then once you have set a screen lock, um, it's not there when your smartwatch, for example, here this LG G Watch R um, is close to the smartphone via Bluetooth connected. So if you move uh, so much away that your smart uh, wearable device is not there anymore, then the screen will be locked and otherwise you are so close that you don't need a lock screen. So there just won't be a lock screen to unlock. So that's one of the new features here also on the Lollipop, which is quite nice and you could activate. Otherwise, you can see nothing else has changed. And also here on the sound, 
we should find something new. Let me look for sound. Am I still am blind? There we go. Where you have also here um, now the possibility under notifications here um, to set different app light notifications, flash notifications, and actually just app notifications. So my brother wrote me, I can swipe that also again here, go into app notifications, and you can select just which app should notify you and which one cannot. So this is also quite nice and also a brand new lollipop feature. So that's basically it for the dot view cover, for example, also nothing has changed. And for other smartphones by HTC, for example, here the Desire Eye, it's still um, Android 444. But this is also looking nice and should definitely get one of these covers for 15 bucks. It's one of the best features. So thank you much for tuning in. This was the HTC One I made with Sense 6.0, Android Lollipop 5.0 here in a short hands-on. Thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj and here is again what we have installed right now. Till next time, peace and again.